Hello, everybody. My name is Joey Cialino. Hi, my name is Natalie. And I'm Jocelyn Peck. And today we are going to be giving you a short presentation on uh, some crossed psychoeducation. So in this video, we're going to be talking about what it means to be crossed. And uh, we're going to be going into some of the different uh, intricacies that it has, how alcohol and THC affects, uh, affects you at the same time, um, what it means to be crossed, uh, some of the health risks, and some use statistics, and uh, why it might come up. And then we'll also end by giving you all uh, some bonus resources in case you feel uh, as if you need the help. And uh, let's hop right into it. So the first overall uh, kind of umbrella point that we want to talk about when it comes to being crossed is synergism. So synergism is the interaction between two or more drugs that can cause the total effect of both of the drugs combined, or all of the drugs combined, to be greater than the sum of the individual effects of each of the drugs on their own. So in the case of being crossed, we are talking about the, the mixed effect of THC and alcohol together. And when we talk about synergism as well, uh, synergism is not necessarily just limited to uh, limited to THC and alcohol, uh, but this counts for, for every drug. Uh, so a good example of that might be, uh, and this is a very fatal uh, interaction, but uh, the interaction and the synergism between benzodiazepines and alcohol. Alrighty, so now that we have the idea of synergism down and that interaction between two drugs and how uh, how they can have different uh, different varied effects let's look specifically at the effect of alcohol and thc when they're combined so being crossed is that mixture of alcohol and thc and the effect that being crossed has is that uh is that it's essentially a mixture of being high and being drunk at the same time so what this does is that alcohol can effectively uh, increase how much THC is in the blood, and it can increase it by a margin of almost double. So essentially, uh, however much you smoke, let's say uh, let's say it's a joint, um, however much THC in that joint, if you decide to smoke and then drink, however much THC in that joint is effectively almost doubled. So this can have uh, in incredibly increased side effects from the THC and essentially the relationship that they have is that uh, alcohol can effectively increase the negative side effects of THC and cause them to become much more exacerbated because the THC is being doubled. Now we're going to define what being crossed means. Being cross-faded or crossed means being under the influence of both marijuana and alcohol at the same time. This actually magnifies the effects of both, but this also means that it can cause more negative side effects. So if you're ingesting both alcohol and marijuana at the same time, it's going to create a combination of effects and it's going to amplify the effects of being high and the effects of being drunk. Now we're going to review some of the health risks of being crossed. To start off, alcohol increases THC absorption in the body. This means that when you're drinking and smoking, you're going to feel the effects of the marijuana more strongly than if you weren't drinking. And this means that all of the negative side effects from marijuana are going to be increased when you're drinking. Second of all, both alcohol and marijuana can cause orthostatic hypotension, which is very low blood pressure. Also, greening out is more likely when consuming alcohol. Greening out is kind of similar to blacking out um, when you're drinking, except it's a little different. So common, common symptoms of greening out are severe paranoia, uh, increased heart rate, chills, sweats, disorientation, and nausea. So it's really not a fun experience. Um, usually happens when people consume too much marijuana and it's just all the more likely when you're both smoking and drinking 
at the same time. And finally, marijuana's anti-nausea and vomiting properties can lead to alcohol poisoning. So this means that one of the perceived benefits of, of smoking marijuana, which is its um, anti-nausea properties, it, 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 they defeat themselves. The purpose defeats itself because um, when you're drinking, if say someone's drinking too much and they actually have alcohol poisoning, but they don't feel that nauseous because they've been smoking, then they might just keep drinking and keep getting more intoxicated, which can lead to really severe things and even death. So alcohol poisoning, some signs to look out for are vomiting, um, some slow or regular breathing, and low body temperature, um, someone may pass out, and a good, another good one to look out for is blue skin or really pale skin. So you definitely want to keep an eye out for yourself or others if you see them having any of these symptoms. We've included some statistics on alcohol and marijuana use that are specific to UIUC. This data is pulled from an NCHA 2019 survey that surveyed 1,231 UIUC students. It found that in the past 30 days, 67.2% of students had consumed alcohol. 14.3% had consumed alcohol before in their life, but just not within the past month. And a small minority, 18.5%, have never consumed alcohol. We can see that, you know, the vast majority of, of UIU stud students, about 82%, have consumed alcohol at least once before. For marijuana use, um, it's a little different. So 62.9% reported having never tried marijuana. 18.1% have used it, just not within the past month, and 19% have used it within the past month. All right, let's consider some of the factors contributing to drug use, specifically college students at the University of Illinois. First, there's the general peer pressure involved. This can be a large contributor in drug use, especially when transitioning into college. Additionally, party culture is a specifically a large part of U of I and experienced heavily within Greek life as well as the rest of campus. Many students also may use drugs and alcohol to cope with the stressors and challenges that they may face. And then specific to U of I, there are also these campus holidays that are largely associated with drug and alcohol use, such as unofficial and 420. Keeping that in mind, we're going to take a moment to reflect and I'd just like you to ask yourself, what contributes to your drug and alcohol use? Thanks for reflecting. Let's move on. It's important to keep in mind that being cross affects everyone differently. Just because one person experiences its effects in one way does not translate to each and every person. To wrap up, we want to leave you with some resources to turn to in general and specific to alcohol and drug use. First, we have safe rides and walks available on campus to ensure you get home safely at any time. Next, we offer individual and group counseling at the Counseling Center for all students. Another resource we have on campus is the amnesty policy, which is when a student calls on behalf of an impaired individual, remains with that individual until assistance arrives, and fully cooperates with emergency responders, the university will not pursue disciplinary action against the caller for their personal substance use in this incident, otherwise known as call, stay, cooperate. And finally, the alcohol and other drugs team at the Counseling Center offers both a marijuana information class, otherwise known as MIC, and a challenging alcohol attitudes positivity class, otherwise known as CAP. These are psychoeducational workshops that are a safe space and give students the opportunity to evaluate their use of substance through group discussion and interaction. We hope you consider joining us and thank you for taking time to further your understanding surrounding alcohol and drug use. 
And as we come to a close with our presentation about uh, being crossed, we would also like to tell you about the amnesty policy. So the amnesty policy here at the university essentially states that if you call on the behalf of a student who is having a medical emergency, so for example, they're feeling the negative side effects of being crossed, and you stay with them and cooperate with the first responders, the university will not take action against you if you are also under the influence. Uh, one thing to note though, is that during the time of this uh, video's recording, uh, there are COVID-19 regulations. So if you and the people that you are with are breaking those regulations, there uh, can still be punishment for that, but uh, you will not be punished for your personal use and for calling uh, for someone who is having a medical emergency. So we would just like to say thank you for watching and we hope that you all learned something today.